Tucker Carlson has become one of the most controversial and opinion-splitting personalities in U.S. media, but some Republicans believe he could replace Donald Trump as their candidate in 2024. Mr. Carlson, known by most in the U.S. as just Tucker, is a television presenter, political commentator, author, and columnist who has hosted the nightly political talk show Tucker Carlson Tonight on Fox News since 2016. He has become famed in the US for tirades against the left, sparking accusations of bigotry from some high-profile politicians. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a left-wing congresswoman from New York, has dubbed Mr. Colson a white supremacist sympathizer. Her colleague Gailhan Omar described the TV personality as a racist fool, while a neo-Nazi website named Stormfront has called him literally our greatest ally, despite the criticism. His shows have topped ratings records with more than 4 million viewers a night. The journalist could be propelled from the media to the center of the U.S. political debate if President Trump loses the U.S. election, according to Republican Party insiders. They said in July that there are rumors Mr. Colson could run as the party's candidate in 2024. Sam Nunberg, a Republican political consultant who advised Mr. Trump, said, If I was in an opposing campaign I'd be very worried. The reality is that the Republican nomination is Tucker Colson's oyster. While voters may push away from Trump if he loses, it's not that they didn't like his agenda. They won't like that he failed in implementing it and failed at getting re-elected. Former Republican candidate for Congress Vernon Robinson told The Independent last month that Tucker Colson will be the Republican nominee in 2024. He added that Mr. Carlson would solidify America first and continue President Trump's legacy, and that he would be happy to help the Fox News stalwart campaign if he did decide to run. Mr. Robinson continued, We're not in the crystal ball business, we are in the changing objective reality on the ground business, and it looks like some of that reality is changing. If I have anything to do about it, I will try to create a draft committee to make sure there are shock troops organized. President Trump has a mountain to climb in the U.S. election campaign if he is to avoid defeat. Joe Biden leads by 11 percentage points in the polls, according to a NPR PBS News Ameris survey. President Trump's predecessor Barack Obama has meanwhile appeared in a Democratic Party campaign video in support of his former vice president, warning the election is going to be closer some 17 million ballots have already been cast amid record turnout. According to Guardian and Opinion Polling, Mr. Biden leads in Florida, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Arizona among other states. While 2016 polling undercounted President Trump in swing states, Mr. Biden has built up a bigger lead than Hillary Clinton did before her defeat. The former vice president has hovered around 50% in the polls and held a lead of at least 10 points over Mr. Trump.